This is Jeff with Shout Out Minnesota, and we are here with Charlie Daniels from Algeria, Tennessee. Charlie, thank you so much for uh, coming tonight. Uh, we have a full crowd in the house tonight. Well, there's, there's nothing throws a musician's heart like sold out. <laughs> Uh, you've been in the music industry for a long time, uh, iconic, uh, in more than just one genre of music, too. Um, you've had one of the biggest hits as far as Devil One Down in Georgia, uh, crossover to the mainstream, uh, which a lot more of the country artists are doing now. Uh, how? What's your opinion on that as far as country music crossing over into the mainstream? You know, I think... I have never categorized music that stringently. We've always just played the music that falls on whatever genre it does. Uh, I, I always said what the country music fan likes is what country music is. You know, and, and uh, it's changed. It's just like everything else. It goes around and comes around, and uh, every kind of music does. Music don't change; it don't last. So, crossing over, I think, is a good thing. I think it. I think it's uh, any song that has a broad appeal. Why shouldn't it cross over? Okay. What what song do you enjoy to play the most? I love to play all of them. <laughs> That's I'm a good answer. All night anyway, That's so. a good answer. I like that. Um, all right. Uh, family values. Uh, you're a, a big family family value uh, type of man, and um, it seems like society has lost uh, focus on that. Uh, what, what would you say to the youth of today? Well, we've lost our family values to a big extent because we've lost our family to a big extent. The nuclear family. When I came up, it was mom and dad, dad working, mama home, you know, and, and raising kids. And that uh, is looked at as old fashioned in a lot of ways right now, but it still worked really well. I would say to uh, kids, you know, that uh, don't do a lot of things when you're a kid that you're going to regret when you get older. Because the things that you do, some of them are the, the small stuff doesn't matter, but some of the big stuff you're going to carry around with you for the rest of your life, especially if you come, come across it with law. If you have anything to do with something unlawful and you get busted for it, you go any kind of a record at all, it carry it with you the rest of your life. And it's not worth it. And once you get past the kind of little wild years and you get most of your wild oats, so you're going to want to settle down. And you're not going to be want to be remembered for somebody who's rowdy and, and undependable and lying and that sort of thing. So think about building some character when you're young. Have your fun, but uh, don't step over. That's good. Good. Uh, good for the youth to hear that because they need to hear that. Um, uh, also, as, as far as uh, longevity goes, um, you've battled some health issues uh, over the last few years, uh, and battled them hard. And 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 you're here. Your longevity uh, is obviously uh, is looked up to from uh, many other artists. Um, what's your secret to success? Well, it's the blessings of God. My whole life is my whole uh, being in the music business. I, I love this business. I love making a, a living in it. It's a, like I said, it's a blessing from God. It's a desire. The night that was they put me on the Grand Ole Opry, I told the people, uh, the Bible says God will give you the desires of your heart, and you just send one of those come true tonight. Because was, I've known one going to Opry for a long time. Uh, when you're my age, you're 78 years old, you're going to have a few little hard things back and forth. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, hard things or cancer, or, which I've had both of the stroke. Uh -huh. But, uh, you know, if you just kind of keep uh, battling back, you got faith in the Lord. You keep battling back, kind of hang with your health. And uh, I, longevity was always one of my main, try, my main goals when I started in this business. I didn't want to come in and stay for a while. I, I wanted to be around for a long time. Uh, I still enjoy it. As much as I ever did, I made no plans toward retirement. I love getting on stage with these guys and playing music, so I'm going to keep on doing it as long as I can. That's great. Um, one of the things I want to touch on because uh, we have this artist here next month, uh, Aaron Lewis, uh, Country Boy. How fun was that to make? Well, you know, it's the first time I ever met uh, Aaron when we did that. Uh, he, the guy that produced his record, James Stratton, worked with me, and there was a part that they wanted, a recitation part that they wanted a record. He said, I think Charlie can do that. So they call me and I went down and, you know, yeah, Aaron's, Aaron's a good guy. Aaron's a, Aaron makes a lot of music. I mean, he's, uh, he's got a, 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 I've seen him play with two pieces and just make an incredible amount of music. Great, great. Um, I also noticed you're avid on social media, which I'm a fan of. <laughs> uh, I saw the picture you put out there earlier. Uh, 
th- that's usually unheard of uh, of uh, of your man a man of your caliber of your age that that actually gets involved in social media. Um, wh- what kind of uh, uh, what does it mean to you for social media wise? Well, I am fascinated by technology. I come from a time when we were dialing telephones and you know party lines and it, the communications was a slow sort of thing. You wouldn't like make a long distance car. You had to call an operator. She had to place it for you. You know, and, uh, it's just amazing to me that you can sit down and take a little machine and type in a few words, and it's available in Madagascar, Australia, or anywhere it's all over the world immediately. Right. That kind of blows my mind. And I sit and write, you know, I show people, people like, everybody who travel as much as I do, and I show them pictures of where I am and what we've done and different situations and things. And it's kind of it's kind of fun to me, and it seems to be fun to them. Okay. Uh, what do you do for, for your time to get away to relax? I like outdoor things. Okay. Hunting, fishing? I like, I, I love fishing. I, love, uh, I don't have time to hunt. Hunt's, hunting is very... Very time consuming. I don't really yes. have time to do it anymore. Right. I still love it. I do like target shooting. Okay. Uh, All right. Quite a bit of that. I, uh, as I said, I love fish and I love horseback riding. Uh, oh, nice. Hitting golf ball once in a while. Out there you go. Things, you nice. Know, that sort of stuff. Very good. Well, uh, I thank you so much for your time, um, and it's going to be a great show tonight. Uh, everybody's looking forward to it. Um, can you say something to the fans uh, of here at St. Croix Casino and to the fans, the Charlie Daniel fans around here? Hi, y'all. I'm Charlie Daniels, and I'm here at the St. Croix Casino, and we came here to rock your socks off. This has some fun.